Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Carrie Kemp, and you can find me on Instagram at the Carrie Kemp, spelt just like this, or on TikTok at Carrie underscore Kemp, spelt just like this. Today is a little bit different. I don't do a whole lot of makeup tutorials because I'm not an expert. However, I got these two palettes, and they are very, very similar. One is the Morphe um, Highlight Contour Palette, and the other is a Tarte highlight and contour palette. So I'm going to quickly show you what they both look like. This one is the Tarte. It actually goes for, I have the prices here, $59. This Morphe one, I'm going to like try not to, looks just like this. Um, and it goes for $35. So there is a huge price difference. One is almost half the price. Um, as the other, these are Canadian prices. I got both of them at Sephora when they were on sale. I think there was like 10% off. Um, I have been switching a lot of my makeup to Morphe because it's the prices are incredible and all their eyeshadows that I personally have and their makeup brushes, I just, I love, love, love Morphe. I've even had some of their um, lashes, eyelashes like glue on things strip lashes and they did really well for the price um i do have a couple tart palettes um one is the contour palette that i use all the time but you know what we i just want to compare the two and see which one's better like put them both to the test again i am not a professional makeup artist so let's keep that in mind but um people like my makeup so why not give my professional opinion? I have already put on uh, my face. So I'm going to give you like a little lowdown on what I already have. I personally use this moisturizer. It is the Clarins Moisturizer. And then I go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Then I hit it up with the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Makeup. I personally wear 3N1. And then I go in with my concealer, which I put somewhere that I cannot find right now. Oh, right here, in front of my face. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, uh, in 22N Light Neutral. I then set my face with this beautiful Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And then for my eyes, I used this Tati Beauty palette. It, she is a beauty. She is a beauty. You can see which ones I use the most. Um, so I did that. And then I have these lashes on, Batty B. These ones are the hashtag Sugar Baby Lashes. And eyeliner, I use the Kat Von D. Ooh, I got hair everywhere. Kat Von D eyeliner. That is all I've done. Now I'm getting into the contour. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Tarte on this side of my face and Morphe on this side of my face. And I really hope that it's equal and that they look similar because I do not want to have to do my makeup again. I've zoomed in a little bit. I'm going to be using the Morphe palette and I'm going to be going into Sculpt first on the Tarte side. I've washed all my makeup brushes so everything should be good. So Sculpt first tap it off and what I do is just at the top my mirror is down here so I'm gonna use my mirror <laughs> so this just gives it a good base I like to layer the makeup so I'm gonna go in again make it a little bit darker So that just gives it a really good base for uh, where I want to put the darker color, which is this shade. It's kind of, um, it's not like super powdery. It's kind of like liquidy, which is a little bit weird. Um, a lot different than my other Tarte palette, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it. And again, starting at the top, because then you can blend it out. If you start down here and you get like a really dark spot right here, it is really, really hard to blend it out. So I always, always, always start at the top. Nice, light strokes. <laughs> strokes. I'm going to quickly put my hair up. Um, 
my hair was getting in the way a lot too much. So, so just starting at the top, working your way down. You can't really tap off the excess here because it's like a liquid. Like it's not a liquid, but it's um, not... I feel like that's like brushing off here. Do you guys see that? Like right here? That's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm thinking because it's not... I don't know. Sometimes I kick out my my cheek a little bit. I'm just going on like super light over that. And I think that's about as dark as I want to go with this puppy. So I'm just going to like brush off the excess of the dark because I don't want it to be dark anymore. Or darker than this kind of thing. I don't want to like build on that darkness. So now I'm going to go back into Sculpt with this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. It's like a, a blush brush. And you go into Sculpt, the lighter color that you put on the bottom, and you blend. So I just go in like big circular motions, and I really just blend it out. And I go on the top so that... It's all contoured everywhere. And usually what I'm doing is like I'm putting one end of the brush in and then that end I put right at the root of my hair and then I blend it out. Just so that it's not like super dark down here. And I just play with this for a while. <laughs> And then I want the cheek. So this one, this palette is actually falling out. A, there's a lot more fallout in this palette than my other Tarte palette. So that's kind of interesting. So I go along the jawline and then I go down to my neck. I'm trying to just do half. This better look even, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know, you can still see this like white patch, which I'm not, maybe can't see it as much on camera, but when I'm like looking at it here, I feel like that dark, dark piece, it just, I don't like that at all. That's kind of weird. Okay. So that is going to be that for the tart side. I'm just going to put that there and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the Morphe but I'm gonna wash my brushes first. Alright so I'm sorry my camera kind of like glitched there for a second. I went in with Donut first which is this light color and put this line. I really like how subtle it is. It's very blendable like that is a, a beautiful subtle color which I, I appreciated. And now I'm just in with Enemy which is right at the top here. It's a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go, this is the darkest contour color that they have, which is not very dark. It's very, very warm. Like it has a very orange, I mean, you see that in the palette, but I don't know. I don't, I don't mind that. Like comparing, now you can really see that like white circle there. But overall, I'm okay with this look. So now I'm going to go back into Donut, which is this bottom one. It's the one that we put on first. This one you don't have to tap off as much because it's so light. I... I love this color, I'm not gonna lie. 
I mean, everybody's skin tone, skin texture, all of that is different. So you do have to keep that in mind. But on me, I'm not mad at this. And it's like the second lightest color, which is impressive. Maybe I'm just that pasty right now. All right, going in the jawline and down. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna look at it from a mirror. I don't know, I, I'm i digging this side. Like, I love the look of it. Obviously, it needs to be blended more and all of that kind of stuff, but for contours, I would definitely recommend this Morphe. Like, I see nothing. I'm quite impressed with this side of my face. This side, I'm super disappointed. Like, this whole, like, white circle here, because the... The darkest color was like a. I'm trying to think of the word for it, and I can't think of the word. Was um, more. I don't know. I can't think of the word, but it's not a powder, which is super weird. Like I don't use a whole lot of liquid. Um, in terms of like highlighter or blush or anything like that, so. I've never had good experience with liquid even. Um, I got this contour pencil from Fenty Beauty and it did the exact same thing that this did. And so I don't know if I'm just like putting it on wrong or what, but overall Morphe won the contour battle. Alrighty, so. I kind of want, I'm going to go ahead and fix this side with the Morphe palette. So, no, nah, maybe I'm not. I don't know. Oh, I don't like how it's so different. <laughs> okay. Now, highlighter. They both have four highlighters. So, this one has four. And they are very, very similar highlighters. Um... So I'm going to use one that is the closest. Okay, so Supernova is right here, that color, and Lit is this color. They are very, very similar, a little bit different, but like not by much. So going in with the Tarte Lit, basically what I do is I just side to side. Grab it on there and on the cheekbone. Okay. Not mad at this color. On the temple. I usually go on the nose. But I'm just going to do the cheek for now just to see the two sides. So there is the one side. I'm going to do the nose with the one that I like better. <laughs> And then I'm going in with Supernova. First, I'm going to wash my brush. Hold on. All right. Brush is washed. Going in with Supernova. Again, just side to side. I've got some product. I would say that there's more product on this one. feel like we need to be looking towards the light here so that it's equal. There's one side. There's the other. This side, I'm digging. This side, not so much. I'm not mad at the highlighter, to be honest. Um, on the Tarte, definitely going to be using those highlighters. But I just feel like this, although I've, I'm not completely... Finish. I'm going to still blend that out quite a bit more. Um, this one blended quite nicely other than that 
white mark there, but I don't know. I just feel like this side I can make look polished. This side, not so much. I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back for my final look. All right guys, this is it. This is the final look. The only thing that I did was blend this just a little bit more um, and then added some highlight. I feel like there's nothing that I can do on this side um, other than adding some Morphe to it. So I wanted to make sure that it was very symmetrical, like this side is all Morphe, this side is all Tarte. I am going to go through the pros and cons really, really quick. The the cons of this Morphe one, the pros, I, I'll go through the pros first. Um, I love all the selection that they have. Here they are. Um, the price is definitely a pro. It blends very well. I love, love, love everything about this look. The cons though is that this is the darkest shade. Uh, these ones look like they're darker. Maybe this one's a little bit darker. It's just, there isn't a super dark shade, but um, for people with light to fair skin, I think that this is a great option. As for the Tarte, which is on this side, um, I love how dark this color is, but I just wish that it was a powder rather than um, whatever it is, because it's not powder. It's like liquidy-ish. Um, and then I love this color. It is a little bit dark for a starting shade, but that is A-OK -okay on my personal skin tone. The highlights are gorgeous, but um, for the price, I don't know if I would spend the money. Uh, overall, I think you guys know my winner is Morphe. Um, I'm super impressed with the whole brand. Uh, it's just, it's all around affordable. It's easy to use for beginners like myself. I like to consider myself a beginner. I go, um, I, it may look like I know what I'm doing, but I literally just do the same look every single time. Maybe just adding some different neutral colors, but they're all neutral in the end. But overall, I think we, we have a winner here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment on which one you think you like better. I mean, for $35, you better pick this one. Um, but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like my makeup tutorials, let me know down below what you guys want to see more of. Do you want this eye look? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to set this for the day and uh, be unmatching. Because who needs to be perfect in quarantine, right? Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing week ahead. Um, and yeah, I will see you shortly. Love you.